Hey everyone, it's Jackie from My Collect Apple, and today I'm unboxing Apple's brand new design book titled Designed by Apple in California. This was announced last week, kind of a surprise. It's basically a very big book with pictures of their products since 1998's original iMac up to 2015's Apple Pencil. Uh, this arrived yesterday, I'm going to be unboxing it for you now, so uh, let's get going. Uh, this it's got a bit of criticism online because of how expensive it is. Uh, in the UK, it's 169 Well, first I should mention there are two sizes to this product. Like any good Apple product, there are two sizes. There's a small size, which is this one, which, as you can see, really isn't that small, which is 10.2 inches by 12.75 inches. And the large one is 13 inches by 16.25 inches. And, uh, yeah, the, so the large one is absolutely massive. Uh, I measured them up. I thought I was going to find the small one too small, but I could only go for the small one because of the price and uh, measured them up. And then I'm like, hold on, this small one really isn't small. So uh, it's in this box, which is very good because same box Apple ship out their products in. So well protected in transit. Yes. But as I was saying, there are obviously the price is in the US, it's $199 for the small one uh, and $299 for the large one. In the UK, sorry, I'm struggling here a bit. It's quite heavy, one-handed unboxing. In the UK, it's £169 for this one, the small one, and I believe £249 for the big one, so about £80 more. And uh, these are available to order from Apple, obviously. And it's available in store at some locations. It's not every store. Uh, in the UK, I believe it's only Regent Street and Covent Garden. And then it's available in a few stores in Paris. And in America, it's in a load of stores, like the Fifth Avenue store, the Paolo Alto store, a few stores in San Francisco, and obviously the company store in Cupertino at the Infinite Loop. So, uh, yeah, it's being kept to sort of flagship stores, but you can also, anyone can order it online. So, it's in a white box. It's got an inner protective layer, as you can see, with another pull tab. So, you just sort of, no knives required anymore. Just pull it open like so. And we lift up the packaging. And there's another box, I believe. Or is that the book? I think this isn't, I don't think this is a box, no. This is a wrapping, a protective cover for the book. So this is really well packaged. One of my concerns was ordering it online and if it would be well protected in transit. And turns out it really is incredibly protected. So yeah, obviously it's getting a bit smaller as we take, out, take off the layers of packaging. So this is basically the final size. Okay, so flip it over and we have these little tabs. So just lift them up like so. And I've seen pictures of this online as you probably have and it's really cool because look at that. The packaging actually has designs on it, which is real cool. Uh, we'll have a look at that in a second. But in the box, the book is upside down, but they package it the right way. So when you peel off this layer, which I just did, it's the right way up. And as you can see, you have the Apple logo. So we're going to take it out. And there's another look at the protective packaging, which is really cool. I'm going to keep this, probably keep my book in it, for safekeeping. But it's basically just a load of Apple designs and it's really cool. So, on the outside you have this sort of linen finish, the Apple logo. On the spine, designed by Apple in California. Very, very simple design. It's their new sort of bold font that they've been using since the iPhone 7 and iOS 10. Okay, so let's open up the book for the first time. So you can see the Apple logo is sort of indented. So opening it up, it's a very substantial cover. It's really nice. And we have a few blank pages, I believe. Great. 
There are 450 photographs in here. I don't know how many pages there are, but quite a few. We have Design by Apple in California along the top. And this book is dedicated to Steve Jobs, as it says along the top here in very fine print. And then I believe we have what are the only words in the book. A little forward, an introduction by Johnny Ive. Um, there are more words because we have an index of all the products. So it goes straight from iMac up to Apple Pencil on page 299. So I believe there are about probably just over 300 pages in this book. If you take into account blank ones and the dedication and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I realize I'm at a really bad angle here. So yeah, that's probably better for you to look at. So if I zoom in a bit, as you can see, some of the products that are in the book. Pretty cool. And then we have a chronological order of all the products by year, which is very cool. And then it begins. So this is what a page looks like. This is the iMac G3 in 1998. And up the top here, it says iMac 1998. So, yeah. Then you have iMac 1999. Yeah, this is really, really cool. I'm not going to look at every page because I just don't have the time for that and it will get a bit tedious for you guys to watch. So I'm just going to flick through them a bit. So you can see you've got the page number down here, so it's a book. <laughs> iMac G4, love them. I have one of them. And the iPod. iPod in 2003, not the original. But yeah, that is basically all there is to this book. So obviously, yes, it's got a lot of criticism because it is pretty basic for what it is. It is just a book of pictures, but it's a nice book. It's a big book. You can get an even bigger one, but it is very expensive. But if you're the kind of fan that's going to want this book, you're probably not going to worry too much about the price because you'll save up for it because it's really cool and it's a perfect gift over the holidays for Apple nerds. So uh, I'm sure this will be on sale all through Christmas. And uh, I don't think it'll be on sale forever because it's probably going to be more limited. So get one while you can. But um, it will be around definitely over Christmas. It's a great gift idea. And uh, it's kind of follow up to the last design book they did, which I believe you can get from some sellers on Amazon for about £100. But they did a design book in the late 90s. So pre-jobs return. So yeah, that's quite cool. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful product. It's expensive, but the materials used are awesome. The packaging is just awesome. Yeah, it's a great product. Highly recommend it. Obviously, it's only for the diehard Apple fan. Uh, if you're just sort of buying an iPhone because it's a good phone and you don't really care that much, uh, yeah, I wouldn't suggest spending uh, $200 on this book. So something I wanted to add to this video since recording um, I've had the book for a couple of hours now, and I made a pretty big discovery that, yeah, I needed to make a video about. Welcome to my living room, by the way. This is my sofa. How exciting. Uh, yes, so, I found at the back of the book, which I'm going to now very carefully open because I'm really OCD about these things. Uh, go through, I don't want to just chuck all the pages over, so I've got to do it bit by bit. Uh, where is it? Here it is. So, this is a little booklet that, if I can get it out is, well, I'll show you what it is. It's what should really be in the book. It's the words. It's product details for every product in the book. It goes through them in order and has a little commentary for them. It also has a glossary. Here's the glossary. So it talks about uh, manufacturing processes. And uh, I, some of the pictures are actually of manufacturing processes, so I don't know how it handles them. So here, for example, page 192 to 93 is actually a picture of the cover glass for the iPhone 4, and it sort of gives a little manufacturing story, I guess, about how that was made. So yeah, this is really cool. It's a shame it wasn't actually in the book, but I guess they were sort of going for a clean, sleek look to the book. So they sort of thought, hey, we'll put it in a separate little booklet at the end. If I can line that up. Jesus, I'm so picky. 
Okay, so yeah, that definitely needed a afterthought video added. Yeah, I'm rambling now. Back to the recording. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. I will be back soon. I will be reviewing and unboxing the AirPods as soon as they're out, <laughs> eventually, whenever they actually turn up. And as promised, I will be doing an iPhone 3GS unboxing soon to continue on with my retro iPhone unboxings. Um, other than that, I'm not sure what will be coming next. Eventually there'll be a new MacBook Pro, but that might be quite a while off. It might even be like the 2017 refresh or the 2018, whenever they get around to doing it. Yeah, that, that's a long way away. But the next unboxing will probably be the AirPods as soon as they're out. So I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.